Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Sydney from PhoneDunk.com and this is a Pantech crossover from AT&T. It's a new Android smartphone. It's actually Pantech's first Android smartphone. It's about a mid-range device, has a three inch display, a 600 megahertz processor, and a three megapixel camera. So nothing high end here, but you know, not everyone needs a high end device. So as a mid-range smartphone, how does it perform? Well, that's what we're gonna talk about in the full review. Before we get on to that, I had to say a special thanks to our friends at Best Buy Mobile. They sent us phones that we can add to our One Pop Bandit game, which is the game where you can win free phones. So one of the great things about Best Buy Mobile is that whenever you buy a phone from them, you don't have to worry about the rebates. The price on the tag is the price you pay. So no waiting six to eight weeks to get a rebate, or is this the real price, or is it after so much of a discount? The price on the tag is a price you pay. So thank you Best Buy Mobile for being so awesome. Thank you guys for watching this video. The Pantech crossover from AT&T. I'm Sydney from PhoneDog.com. Let's go check it out. Okay, so here is the Pantech crossover from AT&T. It's Pantech's first Android smartphone. And you know, there's a lot of things that they did very well with this phone. Some things that you know weren't very good they maybe need to work on a little bit. Um, but there were some things they did well. So we'll start off with just uh, software and then move on to hardware. So it does ship with Android, Android 2.2. As of the filming of this review, I don't have any word on if or when it will get 2.3. But for now it's 2.2 and as you can see it has Pantex custom UI and they've actually added quite a bit to stock Android. So if you don't like custom UIs or custom skins, crossover is definitely not for you because they have added a lot. So first of all, you'll notice right off the bat, the dock at the bottom, calls messaging web, and then this goes to the app drawer. There's no way to change these shortcuts, although if you download an alternate web browser, you can obviously, um, whenever you select that, you do have the option to um, set it to default to use the other web browser, but that's pretty much it. You can't change these. And then the notification bar has been changed uh, to add kind of a different color scheme, and then you have these toggle buttons at the top for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, GPS, and alarm the green color scheme. You know, I personally really like the custom UI, but that's because I enjoy custom UIs. I love since um, TouchWiz is actually my favorite UI. The UI on, on the My Touch phones are my favorite. So, you know, I like custom skin, so this one doesn't really bother me, but keep in mind that it is pretty heavy. So you have that. And then along with, you know, those design elements, Pantech also added some custom widgets. And these custom widgets are actually very well designed and they have some great options. So, you know, the usual bookmark calendar, uh, contacts, email, and then they have this integrated clock, which you can see on my home screen here. So it has, once you link your uh, Google calendar, it'll show any uh, appointments that you have for that day. It'll show the weather and then, and then the time. So, you know, great design. It looks very good. And you can see also some of the social widgets that I have here. This is an email widget, shows you new emails. Um, you can post to Twitter, Facebook, MySpace, and then social net to actually read uh, messages from, again, Twitter, Facebook, and MySpace. And the options are great. It's a lot like Sense. You know, they have different sizes and different designs, at least two for most of the widgets. And then a lot of them have, you know, five or more. Again, very well designed and I really like it. So good job on Pantech with all of, you know, the custom skins. Again, if you don't like custom skins, it'd probably be best to, uh, to stay away from it. Now this display here is a 3.1 inch display. It has a resolution of 320 by 480, so, you know, kind of a lower resolution display. You can see whenever you get close, if I can get a good angle. You know, the text does get kind of pixelated, which is kind of expected. The phone is, is basically a mid-range device. You know, I said in the unboxing that it had a 1 gigahertz processor. That actually wasn't correct. That was what I was told in the PR notes. It actually has a 600 megahertz processor. So it's definitely a mid-range device. So that resolution is a little lower. And then the display, 3.1 inches is, you know, kind of small for, I've noticed mid-range devices, they usually have, you know, somewhere in the 3.1 or 3.2 inch um, range. And so, you know, the nice thing about that is that usually on a smaller device, typing can kind of be more difficult because it's hard to use both thumbs. Even for me, you know, I have small hands. And even for me, it was, it was just a little too cramped, but obviously you have the physical keyboard. So that's definitely nice. Um, so let's talk a little bit about the physical keyboard since I have it open here. It's very well designed. You can see I Island style keys 
and then they are kind of flat so if I put it on an angle you can see they're pretty flat just to keep it flush you know so whenever it slides closed um, you know they're pretty flat but they have a nice texture to them they're not as grippy as I would like you know they're not the rubbery mushy type which is fine because you know a lot of people don't like those um, but I do I personally like to have some grip because it's just easier to you know feel the keys get a good tactile feel on them my fingers aren't sliding all around the keyboard you know that being said it, it wasn't too bad okay so here's a messaging interface and again you can see uh, some of the changes that Pantech has made to it. let me get the camera out of it so you can see some of the changes that Pantech has made to just the overall color scheme and then if we type a message quick brown fox we're just going to go with the, the classic, the oldie but goodie, the lazy dog. And uh, so, you know, you can see I had no errors. Of course, I was typing a little bit slower than I usually do, but it's generally pretty easy to type on. Uh, I think, you know, because having the island style keys helps whenever there isn't a lot of grip to them. And then there's just enough grip and uh, the keys aren't too firm to where they're easy to press down. So, you know, that helps with the lack of grip. Um, whenever they're more firm, you kind of have to press harder so your fingers have a tendency to slide more. At least that's what I've noticed with me personally. And then also having the space bar in its own row, that also helps, you know, because you're just, you're not used to having a space bar in a row of letters, so it just takes time to get used to, and it's nice whenever you don't have to get used to that. Alt button, shift, uh, kind of interesting that the period is over here instead of over here that did take some getting used to but really not too much and then you have the directional arrow keys the number row is integrated in a row of letters uh, but they are you can see they're in a different color so they're easy to differentiate although I kept getting the nine I kept thinking this was zero when I was typing because it's the O but that's not a big deal but overall the keyboard was was pretty good I enjoyed it um, it's not the best one that I've used but after testing it out, uh, it's definitely a good keyboard. Um, you know, I like the inter. Oh, also, I'll show you the virtual keyboards. It comes with uh, the Android keyboard, but also comes with swipe, so you can use swipe um, as well. But you can see here the interface again, some of the custom skin um, that Pantech has added. I enjoyed it personally. Um, we'll go back. And uh, I'll show you, you can sort them by contact name or date. So I have it um, by date right now. And it does have threaded text messaging. So this is a conversation that I had with myself because I'm so awesome and popular like that. So, you know, kind of a different color scheme. Each text message is offset with a different color. Um, definitely not stock Android by any means. This is all Pantech UI, but um, it is sort of text messaging, so that's nice. Um, more on hardware, the phone is uh, is really big and thick. I mean, in, in you know, the overall length of it isn't that big because, you know, it only has a 3.1 inch display, so it's only 4.5 inches long, but I mean, it's really thick, uh, as you can see. Even for having a physical keyboard, I mean, 0.56 inches thick, so almost 0.6 inches thick, uh, which I think is about the same thickness as the original Droid, which you'll remember was a pretty chunky device. And so, uh, you know, heavy, uh, thick, really bulky. Keep that in mind, it's definitely a very hefty device. You're gonna feel it in your hand, in your pocket, in your purse, wherever it is. Um, kind of this, you know, different sort of teal or dark green color. On the front here you have the menu and home buttons. These are physical buttons. And then the back button and the search button are capacitive touch buttons. I'm not entirely sure why they did that, but, um, you know, not a big deal. It's just something to take note of. And then you have the volume rocker buttons on the side, on the left side. Dedicated camera button, which is very nice. Micro USB charging port. This is the lock and unlock button. And uh, while I'm here in the unlock screen, you can see, you know, what the unlock screen looks like. Again, Pantex custom UI. So you have, you swipe down to uh, unlock it. But they also have sort of this HTC Sense style uh, where you can, it says drag new, new event icon to middle of screen. So 
say I have a missed call, I can drag it and then it'll automatically go to my dialer to that missed call. If I had a new text message, I could drag it to the center and it would automatically go to that message so I could respond to it. So again, a nice feature there that Pantech has added. Um, they did a good job with that.